Yo yo yo, what is going on guys? It is Gov Gaming and today I'm going to do a new tutorial on ESPs for players. So first you have to have uh, two classes open, your main class and your render global class, right? So let's go to main class and make a new uh, public static boolean. So public static boolean and call it player ESP, alright? Now go into render global and scroll down until you go about uh, right above render stars, right? All you need is to pose is to paste uh, this code right here. This really long code, All right? This is not my code. This part is not my code. This was found on hack forums. This part, um, all this. So all you do is just take all of this, right, and put it right above render stars or whatever you want to put, just in render global, all right? So it's right here. We have that. This makes the box um, of the player. If you didn't know that, it makes a, makes like the box a thick box thing. All right. So now we just scroll down until we find something uh, like this right here. Render entities uh, vec 3D. Right above this, we're gonna paste uh, the player ESP code that I uh, made myself. So let's take this. Uh, there'll be a pastement in the description if you need any of this. All right. So, I already know that we have errors, just make sure that we, I don't really like it like that. Let me just fix this up. <clears throat> right. Now we do have an error, so we have to fix this. Uh, draw a line box, trend, uh, hide it over it, and make it a static. So now the outline box is static. Now we're going to go back to the statement again, and hide it over it again, and you have to make that also static. Now, that should be cleared. There you go. Now I'm explaining this code. All right, so it's gonna enable the this whole thing, right? Blend function, all that. This is the color. This is the color of the line surrounding the box. So you can change this color to whatever you want. All right, and then the line width. I put it to 2.0. You can put it to whatever. And then disable. All right, depth max, and then I made the line smooth right here. So that the, this line is smooth, so it doesn't look all sketchy. All right, I'm gonna go keep on going down, and then death max was false again. Line smooth, and then this this draws the the outline bo bounding box. The box it's not like act the actual box; it's, a, it's the outline of the box. And then this is the inside of the box right here. Now these numbers right here, the D, D1, D2, and D, th and all of this, right? This is basically the code for making it big or small so you can change this code up to whatever you want however you want it to be but this is my this is my best this is the best way to do it for me all right and then like this is this is the color for the inside box right here you can change it to whatever one you want and then at that max true enable and disable there you go so to actually call it to go and you have to go into net on minecraft src client uh, package scroll down until you find a uh, render player which is player. Scroll down until you find render name. All right, put your if statement. So if main dot dot player esp. If main dot player esp. Make sure this is. Oop. Make sure this is installed. And you're gonna call. The, this right here. So, in order to do that, you're gonna do render global. So, we're gonna type render global. That's the class that's in. Then, we're gonna put draw player ESP. So as you can see, it says it, it right there. Alright. Oop. Oop. I think I put par2, par4, and then par6. See how part two, part four, and part six are right here? Yep, you just put it right there. All right, so uh, let me um, run it. All right, let's run it and see if this works. All right, so I'm gonna go into single player, all right? And I press F5 just to see my person, and there's a box around him. If you like the tutorial, please give it a like. And if you're new to my channel, uh, I make coding tutorials, and 
and I hope you and uh, see you guys later. So bye.